Thank you. Thank you so very much. Melanie passed this to me and said, I'm sorry, Honorable Minister, passed this and said, this is heavy. And I wanted to tell her it's almost as heavy as representation of a constituency called Yamakura. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, please be seated. And I know I have only a short time, I wish I had time, to thank the many persons who have made it possible for me to stand here this evening. First of all, I want to thank my two presenters. Isn't the Bahamian Icon Award powerful? Did you see how beautifully and harmoniously they worked together? <laughs> thank you so very much. I want to thank, first of all, Almighty God. It has been grace which has brought me safe thus far. And it's his grace which will carry me through. I sat there as I watched that, and I thought about the baby who was born in Martin Street, Grandstown. Is it not God's grace who enabled all that you saw and so much more to be done? It has been his grace, but it has also been the assistance of so many countless people. People who began very long ago. And I heard someone speak their teachers. Yes, it's been the teachers. Some of him, them, them are still alive. But there have been so many other persons, so many women who have assisted and who will never get an icon award. But so many women who have been representing us over the very many years. And I thank them. I stand on the shoulders of many of them. I hear they, they're telling me to stop. And I have so much to say. But I want to thank all of you. I want to thank my family who have, they have sacrificed so much. They've given up so much of themselves, so much of their mommy time. Thank you, children. Thank you, Henry who has been the person who has inspired me, who pushed me to become involved in frontline politics. Thank you. That is an exceptional man to have wow. done that. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I thank my siblings, one of whom you saw in the picture there. They have been so supportive, and they have not been in the limelight but they also bore the stripes. Thank you so much, siblings and the grandchildren. One of whom escorted me up here and who's my sidekick in so many things now. Thank all of you. I want to say, and I'll just be a minute. <laughs> I'll be a half a minute then, okay? I promise. I listened to Sammy and he spoke about the necessity for entertainers to come together. I want to reiterate what he said, but to say it is the necessity for Bahamians to come together. We are facing challenges we have never faced before. It takes every one of us to put our shoulders to the wheel and to remember that so much more joins us together than that which separates us. It is in our unity that we're strong. We will not succeed unless we take away all of these things, particularly the partisan things which divide us and come together as one united Bahamian people facing all of the challenges which we now face. And we shall and will overcome. 
Before I stop, I want to thank Gina and Addis and all of the persons involved with the Bahamian Icon team. They have done a fantastic job. I want to thank all of you for teaching us how to celebrate ourselves and how to celebrate Bahamians. Thank all of you. God bless you. And let's do this again next year. Yes.